Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer for this uh, Tuesday, the 5th of May. Another glorious day uh, outside. Hope that you are well and staying safe. Uh, I saw a meme on Facebook this morning, um, which was uh, a picture of Noah's Ark battered by the storm and everybody staying inside to stay safe. Uh, I think that's what we need to do. We need to remember that we need to stay in that ark, um, only sending out the odd bird to fetch stuff for us. It's a tough time. People are getting fed up, um, understandably but we need to stay resilient. <clears throat> and I think that's what we need to pray for, for resilience, that we can keep going um, until we are past this crisis and then learn from it. So if we just take a moment to still ourselves and bring us ready, we'll be using Psalm, let me remind myself, Psalm 48, uh, and Luke chapter 3 verse 1 to 14. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever, as once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> And so Psalm 48. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the king, city of the great king. In her palaces God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They writhed like a woman in labour, as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we had heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God. God has established her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Count all her towers. Consider well her bulwarks pass through her citadels, that you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. Father of lights, raise us with, the, with Christ to your eternal city, that with kings and nations we may wait in the midst of your temple and see your glory for ever and ever. Amen. 
and our Gospel reading is from um, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verses 1 to 14. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip ruler of the region of Etruria and Trachonitus, and Lys Lys Lysanus ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptised by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked him, What then should we do? In reply he said to them, Whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptised, and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. Soldiers also asked him, And we, what should we do? He said to them, Do not extort money from anyone who by threats or false accusations, and be satisfied with your wages. Benedictus. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. And so we pray. Merciful Lord, we thank you for bringing us to the beginning of this new day. We thank you for the night that is past when we can sleep and rest.
and we can leave our worries and concerns. Loving God, I hear stories of people who are having troubled sleep, of strange and vivid dreams that disturb their rest. Lord, we pray that through your comfort and love through your Holy Spirit, through the love of others around them, that people may find rest. May find a rest in you. Lord, we pray that people will find in you a refuge from the worries and troubles of this time. Lord, we praise you for your creation. For all living things. And for the hardware, the rocks, the seas that make up our planet and our solar system and the universe. Guide us as your partners in caring for this creation. Help us to learn from this crisis. that greed and selfishness, ease of life, have come before our partnership in caring, our partnership in maintaining, our partnership in the ongoing creation. <clears throat> And Lord, we hold before you now those people who live in places where there is not a lot of greenery, not a lot of obvious new life, who cannot get out of a flat, who do not have a garden perhaps. And also, Lord, those who live on the streets. And we pray for all those who are sick in whatever way.
May they be comforted by those who care for them. And may your healing love surround them. And we remember all those who have died and pray for all those who grieve. Your families and friends. For nurses, doctors and carers. Who witness death. And finally, Lord, we pray for ourselves. <clears throat> we pray that we can make the most of our days, that we can be strong and resilient, that we can do our best to reach out to those in need. We pray, Lord, that we can remember you in our darkest times. Remembering that you love us no matter what. And that we can return to you at any time. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining me again today. Uh, I do hope you have a good day that you can stay safe so look after yourself and one another uh, and i will see you tomorrow morning god bless you